Hey yo, what it do world? It's your boy the Toothless Wonder back with another video on the on the dark tip, right? And I just wanted to hop on here real quick. Saw a clip of a woman basically saying that uh Freaky Yo Diddy, Denzel, Young Jock, and Birdman were uh at a Playboy after party jump and it was reminiscent of Oz Wise Shut. I caught this through Willie D. And he was like, ah, it seems a little far-fetched. You had a mean woo 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 right? Not to the kid. The truth is stranger than fiction. They're labeling the woman, you know, crazy or whatever the case may be. And I just said in the last video, it's three people tell the truth. Kids, drunks, and those deemed crazy. Why is this so far-fetched? If you go into, uh, uh, I hate, uh, um, I know it's in there, but when it talks about the last days and the, the, be hate how people get down being lovers of themselves lovers of money you know what i mean unforgiving you know truth breakers so on and so forth and the word it, t it talk about uh, uh orgies and all this type of stuff there's nothing new under the sun yo we seen eyes wide shut the woman was saying something to the effect of there were different rooms for different sexual fetishes a couple cash took her you know did whatever brought her back you know what i mean woo, woo, woo. not to make light of it and then like, I don't know. What you mean you don't know? Then uh, Willie D was talking about, you know, this is a corporate entity. They would have more discretion. No, they won't. No, they won't. What about the, uh, the what was that? The Wolf of Wall Street man, where he was all hot up on coke and at these company parties and doing, you know, with the coke off a of coke binge and all that. Why is it so hard for people to fathom that the people at the zenith of, of society don't operate the way, you know, your neighbor does who owns a plumbing business. These people have different desires and fetishes. And typically, because they have access to more stuff than the average human being, regular stuff don't do nothing for them. The woman says there was uh, rooms for bestiality. Yeah, they were doing that back in the day in the pagan, well, not the pagan times, the, uh, in the ancient times. Why is this so far-fetched? And I think it's far-fetched because of how we idolize people or how we've been, you know, indoctrinated to idolize people. We think the best of these people. So it's hard for us to believe that these people are down with Satan or particip participate, as she said, in satanic sex rituals. But there's a plethora of movies depicting such. Eyes Wide Shut, The Wolf of Wall Street. You know what I mean? That's just to name a few offhand, off the top of my dome piece. I've been called, I've been said Birdman was about that action. He got some real suspect bars. But because he's a gangster or he has a lot of money, we don't think these people are sweet. We are living in Rome 2.0. The vast majority of people who, who are on the, you know, the upper echelon as we like to call them, like Boonda. But what but, but part of that don't you understand, yo? How is that so far-fetched, yo? Cats who go to jail, they like Boonda. We're in Rome 2.0. They promote Boonda, but then nobody think nobody getting their backsides hit, yo. How you think they got there? A lot of these people ain't rapping and all that. I know cats from my small town who can rap circles around dudes who are on now. How you think they got that? They gave up Boonda. It's crazy, like... Satan just went on. I guess because of maybe uh, we were ma like man was made in the image of God. That Satan wants to like uh, uh, we have an emasculation agenda. We'll all agree on that. What's the what's the biggest way to emasculate a man? Take your hind part. Excuse my vulgarity. I'm trying to skirt around it, but this is a this is insane to me. How we're just like I don't know, uh, but we just got bombarded with baby oil gay. Justin Bieber, Usher Man. But then when the next one come out, we like, oh, I don't know. Yo, where there's smoke is a fire, yo. It's like, to me, it's the analogy of like, you know, you see like, I don't know. Let's say someone has a reputation or a particular area got a reputation for shooting. And then you hear somebody get shot and they be like, in a certain area, be like, I don't know. They have been getting shot over there. What do you mean? This is not like, this is not. I don't know. I'm trying to find an analogy here. This is not like 
someone who's an alcoholic. Um, and then you hear they went to, to Harvard. Like those are polar opposites. What we're talking about is in the vicinity and the realm of what's already being exposed. But we'll say, nah, this is what I'm talking about. Giving the bamboozlers the benefit of the doubt. How's it, how's it saying the word? People will grow uh, in knowledge, right? But still never come to know the truth. And because of their, their, they denied the truth, he'll give them over to a reprobate mind. Which kind of falls in line with what I was saying about people like being bamboo, primarily black people. We don't want the truth. We just want to believe what we want to believe. Like the words say, so we can straight stay in a delusional state, you know. That's why it's hard to have conversation with folks you know, on intellectual lines because the average person you're dealing with is suffering from some level of delusion. Babylon uh, 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 is, a, is a breeding ground for delusion. That's why there's that uh, global stereotype of the stupid American. America is the only place where the poor people are fat. Stupid people are proud. How? Like, this is insane, Jack. Like, oh, man. But ain't none of this. And then maybe they'll bring it out because they know for real, for real, ain't nobody going to believe it until somebody get indicted. But but these type of people have been making these accusations about these folk for years and got a benefit of the doubt or got in the past. You see what I'm saying? But if you on your job and, and, and the woman say something crazy, you don't get the benefit of the doubt. You're guilty until proven innocent. But we get But these people have nothing but like at the job, evidence upon evidence that they do these type of behaviors. But somehow we be like, nah, nah. You mean tell me where smoking ain't no far? Everything being revealed now, Jack. And it's coming at an expert, like an accelerated rate. You understand me? But this this ain't nothing new. Like when it talks about the sacrifice of, uh, in, you know, sacrificing your babies to Moloch, right? The new, the modern uh, version of that is abortion. Like you would think who would like willingly sacrifice their child to a statue, right? Which we're doing in the ancient time. The black community do it all day, every day. They just call it Planned Parenthood. I, I digress. You know, it's crazy. Planned Parenthood doesn't help you plan for parenthood. Just get rid of babies. Like the family court is actually anti-family. You know what I'm saying? It's insane. Like all the ancient stuff. We're just, it's just starting to come back to fruition or, or more to the light of the public eye in these modern times. You know what I'm saying? That like necro, it, Bible, and especially the old, it talks about necromancy and, you know, the conjuring of the dead. Now everybody's a psychic. Everybody reading crystal balls and flipping over tarot cards. They first cousins. You know, there's things coming out about, you know, these super elite people who live to be 215 years old. And they drinking blood of the people who go missing and this, that, and the third, yo. You know what I'm saying? They were doing that back then. There's, there's nothing new under the sun, yo. The the, the false uh, preachers and apostles and prophets that were plethoring back then. We got them all over the place now. Just go on YouTube. Like, ain't nothing new under the sun, yo. This is crazy, yo. And I, I'm kind of like, I don't, like, my brain get frustrated because I'm like, why can't no, like even earlier on before my sobriety journey, I would say certain stuff about certain stuff. And I'm like, yo, I know I'm not crazy. Yo, why can't nobody see this, yo? It's like the worst of people get the benefit of the doubt, even though they got a track record in history of doing the same shit we talking about now. You know what I'm saying? Like if you a black person, if you got a little money and a little clout, you, you could, you could, you could like boom the, you can have, you know what I mean, you know, they can have demos on about underage girls, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or you're not carrying it ten toes down the way you portray yourself, and because you got some money and some clout or some connection, man, we'll give you a pass. We'll make arguments to the, to the, to the, to the cows come home. We will argue this, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, yo, he, even though we don't personally know the man, but we see it all in his behavior. Like we seen Birdman kiss on Lil Wayne. He got a great big red star on top of his head. You see what I'm saying? He didn't after everybody over business wise. But we'll give him a pass. How? How? But here's what it is, I think, too. 
what is that, the cognitive dissonance, that however you believe these people to be or esteem, you can't believe that they're nothing like what the evidence is showing. So, so you fight tooth and nail to defend it. Well, you're really not defending them. You're defending your own thought process. Those type of people are dangerous. Yes, uh, in my journey in sobriety, I've constantly had to keep uh, adapting and rewiring my brain for new information, especially as the world is ever changing. Like Bruce Lee said, be like Walter. Yo, it's getting to the point, like the SRBG man said in his last video, man, we're going to be some, become so disgusted with these folk. We gonna, man, we ain't going to watch these movies no more. You know what I'm saying? We, we ain't going to want to listen to their taste because we just so blown away how woo woo they is. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like they say, like like certain type of nigga, like uh, on that one movie, when the dude was talking about he trying to go to the NFL, and the dude told him, he said, man, they picked Negroes for that, man. You ain't going to no NFL, cuz. And he wasn't knocking the man. He was actually explaining something to him that he didn't realize. They picked Negroes for their stuff. For as many people, let's look at all the talent that didn't make it because they got blackballed or they didn't really get down with the get down all the way and all that. Man, we've been, man, we've been robbed, Jack. Of true talent. Because they ain't want to give up no boon to oil. They ain't want to sell out. You know what I'm saying? Man, I hate this. Man, I hate Babylon, yo. I, man, I, man, for real, cuz. And I've been on this tip for years. Years. I, I've been boycotting before the uh, port work. I've been boycotting a modern black woman. I've been boycotting Negroes. I've been boycotting the 9 to 5 work culture. Man, I, man, I just... Every day I find something else to boycott. Man, that shit whack, yo. To any sane. You know who the who public enemy number one is? The the free thinking straight black man. How many allies he got? Zero himself. And maybe like minded people that he may know online or, you know, in in his, in his you know, real life. Uh not you're the age they'll convince you you're the agent or you're holding up progress. You got we funded Israel and Ukraine, Ukraine losing. We still money laundering money all over there, and then we give uh, Israel money to bomb up and commit all these atrocities. And then we ask God to help them. Man, they masquerading as the truth. Man, come on, cuz my shit, my whack, be. Oh man, I just want to come through with a quick one. Yo, that's all I got, yo. Bamboozled again. Ooh -ah.